I met a gypsy. So um, are you are you in so, a similar boat with that? Well, <laughs> I had they almost on the plane. They almost uh, so the flight attendants were freaking out because I get sometimes where similar to what you're saying, and, and this is I guess it's normal. It runs in my family, so I yeah I just always assumed it was normal. And then Lindsay was like, I've never seen that. And then like anyway, so I get where um, you're awake, yeah. but you can't move anything, like not your eyes, not anything. Yeah, and you're, you're completely so you can hear everything, but you have all these different, like you said, different anxieties and different whatever is going through. But you're fully awake, so I could hear the flight attendant going, "Sir, yeah, you know, put your seat up for landing, sir." And then I can feel myself being shaken, but I, I physically am completely paralyzed. And they're like, "Oh, what are we gonna do?" Like, and like I'm like, "Oh, I hope they don't have like defibrillators. I hope they check my pulse. Like, I'm fine." Are your eyes open or closed? Closed. Yeah. Okay. But do you feel like you can see the setting that you are in? Oh no, I'm uh, so. So, well, like, so I, where I get, are I get you? two different. Well, no, I was actually in an airplane this time, and I could hear everything oh, yeah, going around, but I physically couldn't move. Yeah, okay. And then I finally like broke out of it, and she definitely thought I was messing with her because I was like, "Yeah, really?" <laughs> she like freaks out, and like, anyway, it, was, it wasn't funny. But anyway, so my biggest fear, though, so I have three different things. One is that that I think happens to a lot of people. It happens to everyone in my family, anyway, um, where you just can't move, but you can hear everything. You're you're yeah. awake. Um, number two is what typical night terror. I don't remember any of my night terrors. I remember nothing about them. But again, on the plane, and planes are probably my most scary part, I had all my friends on this plane and I fell asleep before the plane took off. So we're just about to take off down the runway and I was close to the front of the plane. It was a big plane. And I woke up yelling, fuck, at the top <laughs> of my lungs at a full sprint running to the back of the plane and had to walk back past everyone. <laughs> Like just in terror. In the plane. Thank goodness it was, this This was right before 9-11. Like oh. this, is, this is a long time. I, mean, I was, you know, 16 or whatever. Yeah. Um, but like everyone's looking because I, if I was running towards the cockpit, I think I would have got shot by yeah, TSA at this sure. point. Um, so I'm always afraid to kind of go asleep on a plane. And the third one, and this is the most messed up one. This is when I wake up and I see everything fully awake, but I also see dead people. No, sorry. Oh, don't, don't use that as your quote. <laughs> no, no. I see. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I just I see stuff that's not there. Which yeah, is, right. Like, and it's obviously not there because I'm like Lindsay. Like, oh, and, like, but, and you're awake. I'm. A, I mean, I'm awake. Yeah. Yeah. But so here, here's the here's the trippiest part. All right. So I had hieroglyphics in my room. Woke me up almost nightly for about a month. And I'm really. Like, I mean, writing walls, but lit up. So I'm like, all right. So I went and I invested in blackout shades. Yeah. Got everything to where there was no light in the room. And I put clothes everywhere and stuff and just like threw stuff everywhere, like bells and different stuff. And I'm like, all right, because obviously, and then I put a Sharpie and I just chucked it off the wall. And I'm like, the room's pitch black. Yeah. I'm like, all right, this is, this will prove, this will prove to me that, that I can't like, that the room doesn't light up with hieroglyphics at night. Yeah. So about a weekend, wake up, full rooms all lit up, hieroglyphics. I'm like, so you feel like you're waking up and then you're looking and there's I'm looking stuff up, but on the wall. Yeah, it's like writing, but it's like it's like a movie. I'm sure I just saw a movie somewhere, but so I got like basically like it looks like I'm inside an Egyptian like uh, or yeah. like a pyramid. Yeah. And I got uh, there's hieroglyphics all over the wall and I'm like All right, rooms lit up. So I get out of bed and I walk around and I go back in the corner and pick up the Sharpie. I'm like, "Yeah, hey, rooms definitely lit up." Found the Sharpie. Walk back, put the Sharpie to the wall and the room goes black right as I was starting to write my first line. Because really? I was gonna sharpie the whole room up for like uh, a beautiful mind kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, <laughs> Just yeah. like start, I gotta see if they mean anything. Um, and But from that point on, I'm like, all right. Somehow, I was able to get up in my sleep and find a sharpie that in I threw dark. across the room in the dark without tripping or hitting anything. Well, maybe I did. I Maybe it was like, uh, what was that movie where uh, the guy drives the Lamborghini back and then he was oh. like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that could have been me. So I, I, I got no video proof of this. But, but anyway, so yeah, I've just gone to the theory that I have some screws loose and they've been loose since before I had my first concussion. And I'm all right with that. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.